What's cracking, YouTube? My name is Brody, and welcome back to part number three of my breakthrough box three opening. And in this part, we're going to crack into another nine packs, just as per usual. Um, I'm going to go through these nine packs. We'll just see if these are nine packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yet, so that is nine packs. Those nine packs from the left. Um, if you guys have not seen part number one or two, I suggest you do. They um. They were pretty good, but they'll fill you in with um, a lot of the combo that will happen throughout this video. Um, possible spoilers and all that sort of stuff. It'll save you from all that trouble. But yeah, for now, I'm going to trim the tops off of these packs, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alrighty guys, and we're back. So in this in this part, I'm expecting a storm of pulls. So be sure to stay through to the end because if you guys have not seen part number one or two, the um, the parts were fairly fairly medi mediocre pull wires. So I'm expecting some big things from these last last two parts. The pulls should just be like almost being spoon fed to us unless we have an absolute glitch box at the max. Where we get an, a surprising amount of regular rares, but let's see if we can start this off strong. We've got a Houndoom Spirit Link and a Typhlosion Hollow. Not bad. So we did start off fairly strong with massive eruption and flare destroy. Very powerful attacks, but it is a shame that it is a stage two card to try and get out, which makes it a little bit difficult to play. But the attacks are definitely nice. But pack number two, pack number two, heard for you guys that have been hanging out through the openings or managed to sneak in from YouTube, let me know what you get in the comment section below, but let's go, pack number two, we have a Rufflet, Woobat, Chespin, a Starly, Goldeen, Floatstone, Mega, uh, just a Hound and Spirit Link, sorry, a Flowet, a reverse Zorua with Moonless Madness and Dark Edge. And then the ref for this pack is a Mega Mewtwo EX. Let's go. Check that. What a powerful looking card. Look at Mewtwo. Look at that stare. Ooh. But yeah, it has Vanishing Strike. So what does that do? If there are any sta uh, Stadium cards in play, this attack does 50 more damage. And this attack's damage isn't affected by resistance or any effects of your opponent's active Pokemon. Nice! Oh, just a burp. But, um, so yeah, it takes 4 energy to use. There's a 3 retreat cost. And it has 230 HP. So that's nice. Nice looking card. Definitely. So Typhlosion decided to fall over. So let's fix that up. There we go. Alrighty, so let's keep cracking. Awesome. A Mega Mewtwo X EX. I guess that's how that one goes. I'd love to get the full art of that card. It is amazing. Definitely an amazing card. Almost, uh, I'd say art-wise, it's up there with the secret rares. It probably, it, some people would even po possibly count it as a secret rare just because it looks that good. But yeah, we've got a Heavy Ball Reverse and a Bronzong. So Bronzong has 110 HP, Pain Amplifi Amplifier, and Knock Away. It says, ancient people beloved that... Let me have a look at this. Uh, petitioning Bronzong for rain was the way to make crops grow. It's a little bit hard, all, all the little lines on the card is making it a bit difficult to read, but you guys can probably read that better than what I can right now. But yeah, nice. Just thought I'd read the little description. It's nice. Sometimes they got some some nice little fun facts in there. Just appreciating all the little details of um of the cards. But yeah, we got Sandquill, Hippotas, Cubone, Elgium, Pansage. We got a Rainbow Energy, not bad. Heavy Ball, Swoobat, Cacnea with swagger. 
And then Empoleon Hollow. Nice. Just see that Hollow mainly up there. So it has Dignified Fighter and Hydro Splash. So let's have a read at this description. Let's see if we can get some focus on that. The three horns that extend from its beak attest to its power. The leader has the biggest horns. Okay, gotcha. So those horns up there will tell you whether the Empoleon is strong or weak. I guess you could say it shows dominance in the pack. In the Penguin pack. Hashtag Penguin pack. But yeah, let's go. So we got two hollows and an ultra so far. No reverse rares, but that can be fixed. That can be fixed in the upcoming pack. So we got Zoroa. Actually, we haven't we have not seen any breaks yet, which is interesting. Usually, I've okay. <laughs> I just double double picked up a pack, but we had a uh, fracture, the Mewtwo Spirit Link, and speak of the devil, we have a Marowak break. <laughs> which is pretty crazy just happened to bring up the fact that I hadn't pulled one yet and we got one so that's not bad with bone revenge a little bit hard to read with the disco disco light background feel free to pause and have a squeeze of that but the rare is a monkey so that's pretty mediocre but let's just admire this break for a little bit longer so it's got a 140 HP uh, there's the break rule if you want to pause and have a read of that. And yep. 79 out of 162. Not bad. So yeah, this is like a um, a card for if you're the underdog. I believe it does more damage for the more prize cards that your opponent has already taken. But yeah. So let's have that nice, that break nice and central in there. Awesome. So yeah, the storm of pause is coming. We've still got four packs to go on this part. And let's see if we can um, keep the good times coming. So there's, talking about good times, there's a code. Hopefully you, you guys get some good times from that. But I wonder if we're going to get a full art in this box. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. But we got Ralts. Oops, i got to stop grabbing two cards. Skiddo. Burning Energy. A Fracture. Heavy Boots. A Noibat Reverse and a Halucha Regular. So I haven't seen this guy in the box yet, so that's not bad. High Jump Kink and Skyward Kick. Nice. So it does one energy, does 20, two does 40, and this attack isn't really, um, affected by resistance. So it's like not good, not bad. It's a basic. So at least you can kind of get it out there straight up and it's good to go. But yeah, three packs to go on this part. And I'm still expecting some crazy, something crazy to happen. Because yeah. Because yeah. Mega Mewtwo so far, Marak Break, and Polyon Anti-Flosion. What's next to add to the nice collection we have so far? That's... Talking about revert, not having any re reverse rares, that's a definitely a nice one to get because that one is a hollow in the set. So we got Raikou and Xerneas. Not bad, the hollow on that card stands out like crazy, but yeah. So that's pretty much two hollows in one pack almost, I'd say, because that one is a hollow in the set and yeah. Get your standard hollow. So let's throw that over there and that over there. That pile is huge. I, I can't, this is what I mean. Like I predicted, just an absolute storm of pulls. But who knows? I reckon we can get more. Let's get greedy. Hashtag get greedy. But we got Axe, you, a Woobat, Goldine, Teddy Ursa, Reserve Ticket, Curlia, Print Club. We got a Judge Reverse. Not bad. It's not bad to get trainers in a reverse because. Um, Obviously, if they're usable in decks, people love to use them in reverse. And we got our Holucha. So, <laughs> talking about only seeing Holucha once, now we've seen it twice in one part of the box. But anyway, to finish off this part, we have the Mega Mewtwo pack. Well, let's hope for something pretty spiffy to finish it off. Hopefully, we can get something amazing. But I don't know, you guys. I don't know. 
We got Panchan, Fennekin, Magnemite, Aralt, Starmie, Seeking, Behem, Inkay, and to finish off part number three, we have a Glalie X full art. So, so there's my full art. Let's have a look at the texture. So it's got a nice spirally texture. I don't know if you guys can see that too, too well, but it kind of spirals out and around the card there. So it's not bad. Uh, not the full art too yet, obviously, but it is a full art nonetheless. So definitely no complaints. So it's got 170 HP. It's got Ice Breath and Instant Freeze, just like its regular EX counterpart. Yeah, let's have a look at the back. Let's see, see the condition. A little bit of a nick up the top. You can kind of see it there. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad, not good. Alrighty, no worries. So let's, so let's have a qu quick squeeze at what we picked up. Managed to scoop up in this part. Definitely got a mission a half ahead of me here right now, trying to sort these guys out. Okay. So we have the Raikou Reverse Rare. We've got the Xerneas Hollow. And Polyon type Flosion Hollow. We got the Marowak Break. So let's spin that around for a sec. Then we got the Mega Mewtwo EX. And we have the Full Art Glalie EX. So nice. So let me know, let me know in the comments section below what you guys think of this Glalie art. Personally, I think it looks pretty dull. I don't know. It's kind of very very plain. The texture looks re really nice. They did a really nice um, job with the design of the texture on the card. But yeah, the art personally looks very plain. I don't know. Let's let's have a comparison. What art do you like better? Do you like the Mega Mewtwo or do you like the Glalie art? Let me know in the comments below. But with that all said, uh, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed um, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you guys in part number four. Peace.